So let's go ahead and next we want to look its 3D view. Personally for me, device view and 3D view, this is two most user different views when I work on terrain. The reason is why? Because layout, I may use dot and beginning when I select or create specific layout. And after this, I'm not very often referenced to this view. Explore view, it's nice before you make render or just look around, but again, this is too um, less used, at least for me in my workflow. And a 2D view is just overview from the top. Sometimes you may use it for the material distribution. But overall, these two views is probably the most important one. Again, this is in my workflow. And when you work with this, you have it your own, so it maybe can be different. So right here, let's go and say we have it a different um, preset basic, parallel terrace, and we have it output. So let's go right now in the 3D view. So you notice we have it this segment preview and we currently in free or it can be um, free navigate camera mode by left clicking the mouse you kind of rotating around again you can use it right click to zoom in and out and again notice when we rotate we rotate around not middle point of your terrain we're rotating around the middle point that we set in the properties and We'll look on those ones actually in the next tutorials when we start working on the properties and initialize your preferences for your first terrain. You'll notice where we can set these points. For now, just remember this is rotating from point middle point that we set on our terrain and preferences. So again, right here we can rotate, we can go up and down. You can also use it uh, keyboard keys to move left and right back and forward so between all of this you can readjust kind of reposition and maybe look closer on the areas you want to preview again so if you need details the one nice things about 3d view what do you have it you can preview different stages by clicking on the node in your browser so we'll say this it's a device browsers right here so you can go click on them and preview on different stages notice they're showing yellow color so it's meaning there wasn't render yet so let's go ahead click build all of them now all the green pre-build you notice also the resolution is increased so always if you preview or preview in some mode and you want to have it the final kind of resolution high resolution build it till it's turned green so you can come closer and preview and render and remember this is again it's procedural so the render is kind of necessary to see some of the details of this terrain okay on the top we have it our default buttons we have it orbit that let camera go around terrain we have it free navigate camera reset which is i currently was using and sometimes if you move around you want to go back so you can reset to previous you can full detail snapshot which is helpful again when you work and you just want to see the details when you start applying some modifications we have it also use a detail texture if you have a applied texture and information about output if you any selected so overall it's very simple straightforward but again for me when i start working with terrain and i want to see how this applied i want to always just preview and click again remember double time click in a browser your device browser you can access directly to your uh, properties and from this point you can modify properties right there and again you probably want to build so you can see those details or in some cases just use it snapshot as well so let's just example right here modify it okay the snapshot does not generate in so we'll rebuild it and you can see we have much more details when we do that way okay so let's go ahead and until we're right here let's look also um, next on our 2d view 